Um, welcome to anybody who is new. Um, for those of you who are new, this is a level two. You shouldn't be able to do everything. Should be some challenges in there. If you're unsure, if you're carrying injuries, you can type any questions to me in the little chat box below. That will pop up as a little orange box and I'll see it flash up while I'm teaching and I will check that. Begin on your backs. Come to lay down. Bring your knees into your chest. Close your eyes. Breathe through your nose. Breathe deeply. So, in this instance, I am your teacher, your yoga teacher, and all that means is that in this moment, for the next hour, I have knowledge and wisdom to share with you, for you to receive. It doesn't mean that I know everything about yoga. It doesn't mean that you do not have something that I can learn from you. This is an equal relationship. It just means that I have some things, some knowledge that I have gained over the years that I can share with you. And at the moment, I am feeling a new lease on life simply because I'm getting up and coming to the studio to teach, so it's just made me feel good. Um, and so that is something that I can naturally share with you in class, is feeling good, feeling inspired, feeling like we can be the best that we can be. And I'm using that as a theme for the month. Um, in particular, I'm using my inspiration to gain extra strength, physical strength in my body. You may like that theme, or you may choose another goal or challenge to set for yourself. If you typically are someone that is always striving, you may set a goal or a challenge to actually ease back and just enjoy life for what it is. But in these beginning moments of class, contemplate that. What is it that would make you feel alive? inspired, really happy and excited to get out of bed in the morning, to shower and put on your clothes, to interact with another, to interact with yourself. So just take a moment to contemplate this. We won't set the intention just yet, we'll take a twist. Take your knees to the right of the body. You can gaze up. Turn your gaze to the left. Take your knees to the other side. Breathing deeply. Come to center. Bring your knees to center and adjust the pelvis so that the lower back is flat. And bring your knees far enough forward that you feel them stacked over the, the um, hips. And you're using your abdominals to push the low back down. Raise your arms to the ceiling. 
As you breathe in, you're going to straighten your right leg forward and your left arm over here. Exhale, bring the body back to neutral. Arms up, knees over hips. Inhale, stretch your left leg long and your right arm over here. Lower back stays flat. Exhale, return to center. Inhale, switch. Exhale, return. Inhale, switch. Keep the tummy pulling in, the low back down. Exhale, return. Inhale. Exhale. Keep going. Just creating some warmth. And you just got to keep adjusting the pelvis. Tailbone moves forward and curls up. There's also a little bit of coordination involved in this one. Great for the brain. Keep going. Just keep resetting. Really seeking a little burn, some life right in the abdominals. Face soft. Stay with it. The chicken. How are we doing? There's quite a bit of coordination involved, isn't it? Anyone else find that with me? Yeah, that's really nice, Jane. Okay, pause and bring your knees into your chest. Allow the belly to soften. Okay, you're gonna place your feet on the mat. Align your feet, hips width apart, and all the good stuff for your bridge. Press the big toes down. As you breathe in, you're gonna lift the hips and raise the arms overhead. Pause for a moment. Push uh, the feet forward and feel your chest move towards your chin, and you just feel a little firing up of the lower butt. Okay, thighs move in. Exhale, slowly release back to neutral position. Inhale, lift the hips, raise the arms, push away from the feet, little squeeze in the butt. Exhale, lower down with sweep to control. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. going. You're looking for a little squeeze in the hamstrings and in the lower back. Okay, if when you lift this feels a little like it's crushing the bone at the very top of the spine, Feel free to just lift your hips. Coordinating movement and breath. Okay, so we've got an awareness of our mental health this month. And that simply means how can we feel as settled in our bodies mentally as possible. I think one of the most important things to know with mental health is to not try to force happy feelings. To not try to force or falsely construct a state of positivity. A few more, you should be getting a little burn there in the butt and in the hammies. And then slowly release down and bring your knees into your chest. Give them a nice hug. And just bring your attention to your breathing 
and feel it normalize, regulate. As soon as you bring that attention to regulating your breath, you can start to breathe fully and deeply. Okay, reach your arms over here, send your legs long, take a big breath in. We're moving to boat pose. As you exhale, sweep the arms around, start to lift up, bend your knees and come up to balancing on the sit bones. Beautiful. If it's too much too soon, Bring your feet down and then start to come into it here. Okay, so this would be a level one variation. Otherwise, we're balancing on the sit bones. We're working to come forward on the sit bones. Breathe here. Lift the chest, pull the tummy in. Bend the knees a little bit if you feel the quads overworking. And then once you feel the burn in the tummy, you can start to straighten the legs. One more big breath in, and very gently come to sitting at the front of your mat. Close your eyes, I'm just gonna turn the heater off. Okay, as we find ourselves in our seat, with the eyes closed or a steady gaze, it's now time to set your conscious, specific intention for class today, or maybe for the month of May, it's the 1st of May. You can bring your hands together at your heart center if you like, and set your intention for class. And you're going to make your way to all fours when you're ready. Okay, so stacking the shoulders over the wrists. And the hips over the knees. As you breathe in, you're going to send your right arm forward and your left leg back. Okay? Try not to collapse the tummy down. Pull it in a little bit. Lift the leg up a little bit until you feel, again, a little bit of work in the back of the body. Take a breath in. Exhale, bring your elbow to your knee. Squeeze your abs. Inhale, extend long. Look forward slightly. Lift the leg up. Exhale, bring your elbow to your knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more breath in, reach, and as you breathe out, place the palm and knee on the mat. Switch sides, inhale, left arm forward, right leg back. Pause for a moment, make sure that you're not collapsing the front body, and you also don't want to collapse the shoulder and have this elbow slack, everything's long. Big breath in. Exhale, elbow to knee, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. And come to downward facing dog. Place your palms, you might want to step them forward a little bit. Tuck your toes, lift your hips and stretch back. Just moving into the hamstrings. Sit. Nice. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring your feet forward to your hands. Inhale for your halfway lift. 
Exhale, deep fold. And you can hug your body deeply into the legs twice more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Come into your halfway lift, a little micro bend in the knees. Bring your hands to your hips. Okay, so we're working to keep the front body pulling into the back body. The back body nice and long. Working some strength into the body. If you need more, bring the arms forward. Hold. Even weight through the feet. Even breathing. And a physical integrity that you hold in the body. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, raise your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, come halfway up. You're gonna exhale, step to the top of a push-up. Okay, so you can always drop down to the knees if you need, but as you come to your high push-up again, take the curve out of the lower back by tucking the tailbone slightly and pin the shoulder blades to the back body by pushing the floor away from you. Feel the little burn in the front body. Your will and discipline begin to ignite. If you want a little bit more, you're gonna hover the right toes off the floor. Lift the leg up until you feel the butt work. It might be a little bit of a curve in the spine to keep the belly pulling in. Take a deep breath in here. Rock forward slightly with your toes up, your toes down, or your knees down, lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Cobra bent elbows, level one, or straight into up dog, level two. There's Roger's face pop up. <laughs> Exhale, toward facing dog. As you breathe in, you're gonna ripple forward to plank. As you breathe out, bring your right knee to your nose. Inhale, kick the leg high. Exhale, step the foot forward between the hands. Virabhadrasana three. Inhale, shift the weight to the right foot. Straighten the leg and bring the hands to the heart center. I feel like I need to pull my mat back a little bit. There we go. Hold here, work the leg straight. Keep the front body pulling into the back body. And if you want more, bring the arms forward. Big breath in, exhale with all your concentration, come up to stand, bring the left foot to the right thigh for tree. Keep your gaze steady and focused. Inhale, raise your arms overhead. Deep breath in. Step the top foot to the floor. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, come halfway up. Step your left foot back from the Virabhadrasana one, the toes angle forward. Inhale, raise your arms overhead. Very nice. I feel like my top is not behaving today. Let's see if we can get that sorted. There we go. Okay, just feel the body regulate itself. Big breath in. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale, lift your chest. Open here. Reach the arms overhead, inhale. Place your palms either side of the front foot, exhale. Step to plank, inhale. We're gonna do one push up. So as many of you know, I am working on my hands wide push up. Feel free to come with me. Otherwise, regular chaturanga push up, lower halfway down. Inhale, come up again. Exhale, lower all the way down. 
and rise to cobra or upward facing dog. Inhale, downward facing dog, roll over the toes, lift your hips and stretch back. Inhale, come forward to the top of a push-up. You're gonna stay here, working strength in the body, or exhale, lower the left leg, uh, excuse me, raise the left leg. Hold, be strong. One more breath in here as you start to rock forward. Toes up, toes down, knees up or down, lower again, chaturanga. Rise, upward facing dog. And go back, downward facing dog. Come forward to plank again. Inhale. Left knee to nose. Exhale. Send the leg high. Three-legged dog. Inhale. Set the foot between the hands. Exhale. Virabhadrasana one. Hands to heart or arms forward. Inhale. Coming on up. Regulate your breathing. Hold the body with integrity. Inhale here. Coming up to tree. Move your gaze. Smooth. Bring the right foot to the thigh. Exhale everything. Inhale, raise your arms overhead. One more breath in here to prepare. Exhale, move into your forward fold. Step the foot and come forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your right foot back. Sink into left knee. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one. Find that focus, notice if your mind has been distracted in the absence of my words and bring it right back to how the body feels. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale, lift your chest. Inhale, raise your arms overhead. Exhale, place your palms at the top of the mat. Inhale, step to plank, one push up. Your option, hands chaturanga or wide. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, come all the way down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. Exhale, right knee to chest. Inhale, kick right leg high. Exhale, step foot between the hands. Inhale, Virabhadrasana three, standing on your right leg, concentrate as you lift your leg one. Exhale, left foot to thigh, rise up to stand, pick the foot up. Inhale, raise the arms overhead with concentration. Balance and control. Exhale, step the foot to the floor and fall forward over your legs. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, step your left foot back. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one, rise. Exhale, place your palms either side of the front foot. Inhale, step to plank. Exhale, one push up. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank. 
Exhale, left knee to chest. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, set the foot between the hands. Inhale, Virabhadrasana three. Stand on your left leg, raise your right one. Exhale, bring the foot to the thigh. Stand up. Inhale, raise your arms overhead. Balance, concentration, poise and grace. Exhale, step and fold forward over your legs. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, step your right foot back. Virabhadrasana one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, place your palms either side of the front foot. Inhale, step to plank. One, push up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, rise again. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause and breathe. Whew. We're doing it again, friends. Come forward to the top of a push-up. Inhale. Right knee to chest. Squeeze. Exhale. Kick it high. Inhale. Step it through. Exhale. Virabhadrasana three. Inhale. Tree. Exhale. Steadiness, grace and balance. Reach up. Inhale. Step forward and fold, step and fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Left foot steps, exhale. Virabhadrasana one, inhale. Place your palms on the top of the mat, exhale. Plank, inhale. One push up, exhale. Rise, inhale. Come all the way down. Exhale. Rise. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Come forward to plank. Inhale. Left knee to chest. Exhale. Three legged dog. Inhale. Step. Exhale. Virabhadrasana three. Inhale. Tree. Exhale, place foot on thigh, poise, grace, balance, reach up, inhale. Step and fold, exhale. Halfway up, inhale, right foot steps, exhale. Virabhadrasana one, inhale. Place your palms under the shoulders or wide, exhale, step to plank, one push up, exhale. Come up, oh, I'm feeling that one. Come all the way down. This time we're gonna stay on our tummies. Make a pillow with your hands. Lay your forehead down. <sighs> Just feel everything regulate. Just checking that you're all with me. Yes, you are. Nice one, guys. Okay. I'm going to lift up a little bit. Bring your right arm like a cactus. So elbow at shoulder height, palm down. And then you're going to slide, roll over. So roll your chest in the opposite direction. You're gonna slide the lower knee up, to the other knee behind it. And just take that arm forward as much as you need and lay your forehead down. This is a really nice shoulder chest opener, particularly if you've been doing wide push-ups with me. And just lay your forehead down. Okay, so just to clarify, the right knee goes underneath us. The left knee lays behind it. The right arm is behind you in an L shape. 
and the left arm gives you a pillow at wheel shape. And you should feel a strong chest up and a shoulder stretch. Okay, you will slowly come through center. So come to your tummy. Bring your left arm in an L shape and then roll your body over to the right. Slide the left knee underneath you, lay the right knee behind it and make a pillow with your right hand. Again, just attune to the beating of your heart, the slow regulation of your body. The harder we work, the more important it is to give ourselves recovery time. And the stronger and fitter we become, the shorter the requirement, or the shorter the recovery time to requirement is. So the quicker we bounce back, is the indication of how strong, balanced, fit, healthy we are, whether it's physical or mental. Okay, you're gonna slowly come to center. Come to your forearms, interlace your fingers. You can either do this with your fingers interlaced or with your forearms on the mat. Actually, this would be more yoga styles. Now tuck your tailbone, start to draw it down as you lift your hips. Flatten the lower back, and if you still want more, tuck your toes and lift your knees. Breathe here. Keep the front body pulling into the back body. Okay, we're going to move into dolphin. So start to walk your feet in. Lift your hips up. Keep your forearms on the mat and push the floor away from you. Incredible shoulder opener, front body strengthener. As soon as you start to sink forward, you want to push the floor away from you. Lift your hips nice and high. Now I have not a lot of chance here of demonstrating Pichamirasana, but I know that some people in the class are working on it. Okay, so you're either holding your dolphin pose with your forearms down, your hips high, if you're feeling good, you're going to raise your right leg. Keep pushing the floor away from you. If you're still feeling good, you can look between the hands and start to take little hops up. Eventually, you may balance on your forearms. Okay, so you're either holding pin, um, forearms, like down dog, or you're lifting right leg, pushing the floor away from you, taking that down, lifting left leg, pushing the floor of you, taking that down, or some of you who are working on pincher may start to take little kicks. If anyone does have blocks at home, holding a block between your hands is a really cool prep for this pose. So if anyone has blocks at home, place the block. Yep, nice Joe, uh, Catherine, you, you know how to do it, eh? You place the block between your hands. Okay, so you're gonna have a little play with forearm balance, which I demonstrated, or lifting the leg in your forearm balance and not letting the shoulders collapse down and forward, or taking little hops up into pincher. And then when you're done, you're going to come to child's pose. And I'll know when you're done because I'm watching you all. <laughs> Beautiful, Selena. 
I won't put you on the spot, but I'm so tempted to put you on the main screen to show everyone, but I won't do that. <laughs> Just threaten it. Beautiful. So you all look like you're settling into child's pose now. Again, take time to regulate your breathing. Start to focus on it again. You might notice the beating of your heart. Inhale, rise to all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Raise your right leg, inhale. Set the foot between the hands, exhale. Keep the back heel lifted and rise to crescent lunge, inhale. Okay, so allow the front foot to feel all four corners are planted. Weight in the heel as well as the front of the foot and then bring that knee until it's over the ankle. Take a deep breath in, touch your palms as we twist to the right. Bring your left elbow outside your right knee. As you breathe in, elongate the spine, the sides of the body. And as you breathe out, rotate around. You can stay here, you can open the arms, or you could bind. As you breathe in, you're going to very gently with control, unwind and come up. Exhale, place your palms either side of the front foot. You're going to plant your left palm, turn to the outer edge of your left foot, Vasisthasana. Stack your right foot on top of your left. If you prefer, you can place it in front of the left. If you still need a modification, you can place your left knee down. For those of you who want more, you can bring right foot to thigh. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, come to plank. Bring your right knee into your chest. Fall in triangle. Send your right leg under the body hip height. Spin to the instep of the left foot and raise your arms. Your arm, not both of your arms, just, just the left arm. Okay, and if you're still feeling good, Pick up that right foot. Woo! This one I find really super hard. Inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Raise your left leg, inhale. Step your foot, exhale. High lunge, inhale. Hold here. Slowly deliver that front knee to the ankle if you can. Big breath in. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, elongate out of the hips. And then you can start to twist a little bit deeper. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it all with calm, Control, unwind, come up. 
Exhale, place your hands either side of the front foot. Plant right palm, spin to outer edge of right foot. Inhale, Vasisthasana. Whichever version works for you. Regulate your breathing. Feel the quivers of the body if you take it to the edge of its ability where it must collapse or get stronger. If you play it right, if you balance it right, your body will get stronger. Inhale. Exhale, come to plank when your left knee to chest. Inhale, fall in triangles. Take the foot under there. Try to get that foot to hip height. And if you still want more, pick it up off the floor. Big breath in. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Ooh. Raise your right leg, inhale. Step the foot, exhale. High lunge, inhale, touch your palms. Twist to the right, exhale. Unwind, rise up with control, inhale. Place your palms either side of front foot, exhale. Vasisthasana, any variation that you like, inhale. Right knee to chest and plank. Exhale. Fall in triangle through the right leg under the body. Raise the left arm. Inhale. Chaturanga Dandasana. Lower the elbow height. Exhale. Upward dog. Inhale. Downward dog. Exhale. Left leg lifts. Inhale. Step the foot. Exhale. High lunge. Inhale. Twist to the left. Exhale. Beautiful. Unwind. Come up again. Keep the front foot stable and steady. Exhale. Place your hands at the top of the mat. Stack your left foot on top of your right. Any variation that you like. Inhale. Vasisthasana. Exhale. Bring your left knee to your chest. Inhale, fall and triangle, take it under the body, reach up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep, full breath in and come down to child's pose. Looking good. Let it all regulate. Make your way to sitting. Come into meditation, observing the quality of your body, the beating of your heart, the movement of your breath. Okay, so with, let's keep observing this awareness that I wanted to take of our health, 
well, yoga is about health. My here in my classes is mental health. Um, and like I said before, probably one of the biggest mistakes we can make when we're feeling a bit crappy is to over effort and try too hard to feel balanced, good, positive. Rather to allow, which is a huge part of yoga, to allow what is there to be there, to not stagnate it, restrict it, or force it to be any particular way, but to allow it to move is the best way to return to health and balance. So whatever you're feeling inside of you, elation, strength, positivity, or the complete opposite of that, be fully aware of it, be compassionate towards yourself, and allow it to move at the same pace of your breath. We're gonna to come to our backs. We're gonna do some back bends today, three rounds of wheel. Um, and if that's not within your ability, then bridge is your level one option. Um, now, I often say bridge, which is quite a good chest opener. If you don't want to do full wheel, actually, and you still want a strong option, you could do your strassana or camel, which is this one. Okay? Otherwise, we're moving into wheel, which actually involves quite a bit of upper body strength. So the other options are hips on a block or strassana. Bridge, otherwise we're coming into wheel. Okay, for those of you coming into wheel, align your feet nicely underneath your knees with the big toes pushing down and that helps to roll the thighs inwards. Bring the arms over here and as you bend the elbows and bring the palms flat. To get the palms flat, you'll have to roll the elbows in slightly. You can come to the top of the head first. If you've got a bun on the top of your head like me, you'll need to come up straight away into it. Oh yeah. Oh, put my breath away. And then come down. Do not bring your knees into your chest between strong back bends. Rather, you can bring your feet together, knees wide, or you can just rotate the body from side to side. Okay, we do three rounds. So whether you're up on your knees in Ostrasana, the only time you want me to come down is if you're supported on your block. Okay, otherwise moving into the second round. Coming down. Ooh. Moving your lower body from side to side. Or bringing the feet together, knees wide. Okay. 
Now you don't want to take too much recovery between strong back bends because if you do, you'll get too, too relaxed. Okay, these kind of flush out the last of our excess energy. They bring us up, they make us feel good, and they kind of, you know, um, move out the cobwebs. Okay, so one more round. If you don't have the juice in you for a third round, pause here and we'll meet you soon. Otherwise, one more. And coming down. Everyone bring knees into chest. And just like we began, take your knees to the right. Turn your gaze to the left. Take your knees to the left and gaze to the right. Come to rest on your back, letting it all sink in. to wake up. Ah. When you're ready, roll over. And make your way up to sitting.
And just sit with the eyes closed. Allowing everything to integrate itself. So you have received knowledge today. Maybe some of it was new to you. Maybe some of it wasn't. Your body received requirements for great strength and flexibility, focus, discipline. You received a requirement also to surrender to who you are, where you are, what you are, what you're feeling and thinking. And now the letting it go is the integration of everything that we received in class to become a part of you. So that it's not intellectual knowledge that we are um, possessing, it is a deep, heartfelt knowing in our bodies. And that is the difference between embodying what we learn and just intellectually understanding what we learn. It's the difference between knowledge and wisdom. So from here, the rest of the day, everything that you received for class begins to transform into wisdom. And that cannot be taken away from you. That is something that you know from a deep, deep place within. So bring your palms to your heart. Bow your head as always. We acknowledge the essence within every living being. And this helps us to connect from a place of respect and love. Whether our opinions differ or whether they are the same. With politics, with religion, um, and just with opinions, we still, at our essence, are one. Namaste. Thanks, team. Thank you. Thank you. Have an awesome day. You too. Thank you. And I'll see you all tomorrow. I think it's Yin tomorrow. You probably know better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Loving it. Thanks, Denise. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for coming, everyone. Enjoy your latte. Thank you, Thank you Denise. Denise. <laughs> Thanks, Olga. Bye. Bye, Bye darling. Bye, Denise. Georgia, have a great one. Bye, love. Say bye-bye. So much. Thanks, Selena and Scarlett. Thank you. That's my name. It is your name. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Gabrielle and Roger. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. And thanks, as always, Tatiana. Thank you. Thank you. And Veronica, if you can see me. Oh, she's just gone. No. <laughs> I was going to show Veronica something, but she's gone. Have a great day, Tatiana. Nice you to see you. Too. You too, Denise. Thank you. See you later. See you.